What's up you all guys, it's Jeffrey Benson right there just waking up and I thought of making this one minute long video weekly analysis just for you guys. So I'm going to be going through GBP, USD, Euro, USD, what I'm going to be looking at for the week and if it does make sense, I believe I'm going to continue subsequently. So if you want to continue making these videos for you guys every Mondays, just drop a comment in the comment section and drop a like and also remember to subscribe. Enjoy guys. I'm a day trader, so I look at my main trend on from the four hours. I look at my current trend on one hour time frame, and then I pick my entries on 15 minutes. So this is GBP USD on four hour time frame. Just in case you don't know, understand this line that I have right here, the first one is 1.2300. So these are psychological levels. The one on the blue, they are psychological levels, and the one on this uh, this magenta color are uh, my high and the low of the week. How I do that is I look for the first two candles that form for the week. Then I, I note the high and the low. So if the candle breaks below it, it's going to be a downtrend for the whole week. If it breaks above, it's going to be an uptrend for the whole week. Most of the time, this work 90% of the time. All right, so that's that on GBPUSD. So looking at it on my four-hour time frame, it's currently on a downtrend. Looking at it, okay. But right here, I, I feel it's going to retrace to the upside a little. So there will likely be a reversal because of this our trend line here. A bounce will likely happen right here. So I will strongly... I will stay more on the buy side for this week. While on a one hour time frame, it's something different. It's showing a downtrend. Sometimes it's happened this way. Maybe a and also showing signs of rejection to the upside. Okay. While on 15 minutes, what I'll just be waiting for, I'll be waiting for points of entries. So I'll wait for either the bounce of this trend line that I drew from the four hours to occur, or I'll wait for a psychological level more of sales for this week on euro usd but i do not stay glued to one perspective because you can see right here on four hour time frame it's on a, it's on a downtrend this is an impulse so this whole thing is a corrective move if you notice it's all a corrective move it's moving it's consolidating all in a box so what i'll be looking at for right here is to do more of sales this is a correction this is an impulse correction to break to the downside so go to the one uh, to the one hour time frame. So it's still on a downtrend yeah consolidating on a downtrend so I'll just be looking for more of sales on EURUSD.